By God, this must be a joke, guys. This must be a joke, guys. This must be a joke, guys, because <laughs> I thought this guy was a top 10 heavyweight. I thought Dillian White was a top 10 heavyweight. I thought you were saying he was a top 10 heavyweight sporting icon. I thought all oh, you UK boxing fans that were, that are subscribed to me, were telling me that Dillian White was a top 10 heavyweight. Well, why did he struggle against uh, Robert Hellenius? First, I want to say everybody who uh, came to my channel and thumbs my videos down, all the videos that I was saying leading up to this fight between Robert Hellenius and uh, Dillian White, I want you guys to bow down and kiss my finger because I got a bunch of dislikes in every one of my videos where I was talking about Robert Hellenius versus Dillian White. And the reason I got a lot of thumbs down was because I kept saying over and over again for the past two weeks that Robert Hellenius is being slept on. And I was saying over and over again that for the past two weeks that Dillian White is overrated. He's overrated and he will struggle against Robert Hellenius. A lot of people were saying Robert Hellenius is just going to get destroyed in under four rounds. Well, what ends up happening, guys, the exact thing that I said was going to happen ends up happening. I said in my final thoughts video that I literally uploaded like five hours ago, I said in that video, this is going to be a more competitive fight than people think it's going to be because Robert Hellenius is, is better than people think he is and because Dillian White is not as good as people think he is. I said in that lead up to that fight, I said that Robert Hellenius will win some rounds against Dillian White and then he will, because he lacks heart, he will capitulate under the pressure. And that is exactly what happened. In the first five rounds, it was a very competitive fight. He actually hurt Dillian White. There was a round where he actually hurt Dillian White. Dillian White did a little silly dance. He did a little silly dance. And you literally see him do a silly dance, but Robert Hellenius didn't take advantage of it. I think it was in the second round. He hit him and you saw him do a silly dance. So for the first five rounds, I actually had Dillian White uh, down on the scorecards. I had Robert Hellenius winning. But then what happens? Come the second half of the fight, Robert Hellenius does what he does best. He capitulates under pressure. I got my prediction right. I said Robert Hellenius would lose. But I, what I got right was I, I said that he would win some rounds and he would make it better and more difficult than people thought he, he was. And just like I said, I also got the fact that Dillian White was overrated correctly. Because, like I said, the first five rounds, competitive fight, I had Robert Hellenius winning. Then, the second half of the fight, I don't know if he broke his hand or what, but he started capitulating. This is He did the same thing against Johan Duopas. He starts capitulating. Oh, and by the way, Johan Duopas did a better job than Dillian White. That's right, Johan Duopas, because here's the thing. Oh, yeah, let, let me finish what I was saying. Like I was saying, the second half of the fight, Robert Hellenius starts c capitulating. Dillian White doesn't know how to cut the ring off. He doesn't know how to cut the ring off. He's terrible at cutting the ring off. He is terrible at cutting the ring off. And this is why I said in the fight, Robert Hellenius, I said in my, in my, in my, in my, in my, in my everybody's underestimating Robert Hellenius video, I said Dillian White is going to have to chase Robert Hellenius because Robert Hellenius knows how to fight tall. He's going to fight a tall man's fight. And this is going to make it, tr it tr tricky for Dillian White. And Dillian White's not going to cut off the ring. And that's exactly what happened. He was fighting a tall, awkward man's fight. And Dillian White doesn't know how to cut the ring off it properly. And he's not effective at cutting off the ring. He's more of a counterpuncher, and that's why he struggled against Robert Hellenius, and that's why in the first five rounds he was losing the fight. But like I said, eventually Robert Hellenius capitulated because he's mentally a weak fighter, heavyweight, and then, and he's like a sparring partner, and then Dillian White just basically outworked him. He outworked him. That's him. And this is why I say to guys like Sporting Icon or anyone who's saying that, who, or anyone who comes to me and says that Dillian White is a top-notch fighter. He's not a top, he's a decent fighter, but he's a top 25 heavyweight at best, man. He's a top, top, top 10, 20, 25 heavyweight at best. If he was a top 10 fighter, he would have destroyed Robert Hellenius. If this was Jarrell Big Baby Miller in here, I'm telling you, Jarrell Miller would have cut, because Jarrell Miller knows how to cut the, the, the ring off. He would have cut the ring off, and he would have been right all up in Robert Hellenius' face, and he would have murdered his body, and he would have, I'm telling you, he would have pinned him against the ropes and beat the crap out of him. And before anyone says, well, the reason it went the distance is because Robert Hellenius was on the back foot. He was too negative. He was fighting off the back foot. He was too negative. Well, why didn't Dillian White cut the ring off and, and go after him? Look at when G Gerard Washington fought uh, Gerald Big Baby Miller. G Gerard Washington was negative. He was running around the ring just like um, my dude uh, Robert Hellenius was. But look at the difference. Gerald Big Baby Miller knew how to cut the ring off. And he cut the ring off and he went all up in Robert, I mean, Gerard Washington's face and he just beat him to a pulp. 
that's something that Dillian White doesn't know how to do. He doesn't know how to cut the ring off. He was just following Robert Hellenius. And it's embarrassing that Johan Duopas did a better job than, than Dillian White. He did a better job because Johan Duopas knocked him out in, what, six rounds? Robert Hellenius. And Johan Duopas actually knows how to cut the ring off. So, like I said, uh, Dillian White's uh, overrated, extremely overrated. And that's all I have to say is my post fight. Uh, I told you, I told you, bad out and kiss my, my pinky. McGregor's out.